All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. Um, I know it's been a while, so let me reintroduce myself, okay? A lot of things have changed. My name is Jewel, and we're going to play a game called Coffee Talk. Um, I've had this game on my in my eyes for a while now, and I'm just now getting around to it. Listen, a lot of life stuff has happened, so... <laughs> I've been kind of, I've been kind of taken over. Um, this game is, this game is a very interesting concept. I don't want to ruin too much. I want you guys to experience it. Uh, and I, I, I know, I know, like the general idea for playing this game. So without further ado, let's hop right in and have us some coffee talk. Oh, we're gonna play us a new profile. Like I said, I haven't played this. I have an idea what the game is about. But I haven't played it myself, so let's go. Oh, what's my name? What's my name? My name could be Barista, but uh, we're gonna go with Jewel. Actually, let's get personal. Let's go with Juju. Is Juju correct? Yes. Uh, welcome Juju. Change Barista, play game, endless, extras, and options. Interesting. I did not think there would be like an endless option for this game. That's okay. Let's go ahead and play. We could we could check out endless. We could check out endless some other time. But we're gonna play today. This is Seattle in 2020. Hmm. It's a it's a lot of stuff going on for this to be in 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. Oh yeah? A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. <laughs> now that's accurate. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. Uh, I went and grabbed me some water bottles because I haven't, I haven't talked extensively like this in a while. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. I like this art style so far. It's, it's very realistic. Most of these stories are left untold. But some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping, a place where people share their stories, and these are their stories. Okay. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. That day hasn't even come up yet, so... <laughs> It'd be super interesting to see what happens on that day. We got about a month. Well, oh, it's you. Hey, Juju. How's the night so far? It's calm, as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Now that sounds pretty, <laughs> that sounds pretty true to life. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry, I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. <laughs> So I'm used to taking things slow. Hey, writer's block again? You got that right. What are you writing now? 
Do you remember my plan to... Ah, uh, pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Okay, so um, so here's here's the general gist for the game. I know this is doing it's doing me a tutorial right now, uh, and I'm probably gonna need it because I've never I've never worked in a coffee shop. Basically, I'm a barista for this whole game, but the game is kind of like low stakes it's low pressure it's not super focused this isn't a game like you 100 percent. i don't think it's not super focused on doing things 100 percent perfect it's more on building a relationship with the customers so like it wants me to bond with freya to the point where i know what she wants when she walks in the door so that's what that's what we're gonna do so freya loves her coffee with a triple shot espresso Okay, so I need, I actually need to learn how to play this game. So let's pull up our phone. Um. What's brew pad? Oh, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Okay. So, uh, this is going to tell me how to make different coffees. Which is an app that I desperately need. <laughs> so let's see, if we do it with the triple shot espresso. I guess that would be, I guess that'd be this, right? Just espresso, coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, it didn't, um, it didn't tell me how to make it. It, it gave me a description. I'm going to guess coffee, coffee, coffee is the triple shot espresso. Well, I'm guessing now. I don't know. I don't know. Don't hold me to this. Hang on. Let me check the rest of the apps. Tomodo chill. What is this? Oh yeah, these are this. Okay, so this is oh Tomodachi. <laughs> okay, so these are all people I know. I guess that's Freya right in front of us. Oh, Freya is not mad. I'm taking forever. Let me let me get my life together. Okay, so if I put in this, it's gonna be three points for warm and four points for bitter. Let's go. What's this though? Is this okay? So I'm guessing this is coffee. Oh, it says it. This is coffee. This is green tea. This is chocolate, and this is milk. So those are the. Oh, I'm missing half the ingredients. Those are the ingredients I can use to make different coffees. Okay, let's do it. Coffee as the base. Primary is coffee. <laughs> Secondary is coffee. I'm going to assume. Like I said, I don't, I've never worked in a coffee shop. I don't even like coffee myself. I'm gonna assume. This is a triple shot espresso. Let's brew that bad boy out. So we got espresso. Let's serve it. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Hmm, that aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. Okay, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something. Ah, yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. Or awry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What were you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they also, and they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Mm. 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 Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So how did they react? 
thankfully. He'd seen my short stories. So he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll put he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Uh, again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh, <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, it was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. So, zero. <sighs> yes, I really need to finish it in at most two weeks. Then, I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know, you don't need me, you don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be a service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Hey, she pulled right on up. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. Not, I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so let's make her something chocolatey. Anything with chocolatey, definitely no coffee. All right, so let's let's freestyle. <laughs> let's freestyle a little bit. What if we do chocolate, milk, and... Ooh, no, that sounds nasty. Chocolate, milk, and green tea. What if we go... Chocolate, milk, chocolate. Is that a thing? That's got coffee. That's got coffee. Dark chocolate is all we got that has. Dark chocolate is all we have that has chocolate and doesn't have coffee. Now, I just want to know. I want to know. Undiscovered. Does that mean this is something that is with an ingredient that we don't have right now? Or is that waiting on me to freestyle up in here? We're not going to freestyle just yet. We'll do that on the next one. But right now, we'll hit her with some dark chocolate. I kind of want to freestyle it so bad. She's here to meet her boyfriend. Let's not run her away, because if her boyfriend comes, that's an extra customer. It's gonna be bitter. You know what? Let's let's stick let's stick to our guns today. We're going to do this one by the book. Next one, we're freestyling. If it gives us the option to freestyle, we're freestyling it. This is a dark chocolate drink <clears throat> dark chocolate one cup of chocolatey goodness thank you so warm so you're waiting for your boyfriend yes he should be here soon look at you now you went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that's still open past midnight, it's mostly empty. <laughs> now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone long, uh, longing, 
Excuse me. Always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. But how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? That's a secret. <laughs> we, we deal drugs in the back. <laughs> but it's a secret. Keep that between us. We got drug dealers in the back. <laughs> Juju here is damn rich. That's the secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Juju can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whispers. Shut up. Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to the short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Nope, oh, number three. Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. Yes! Get it! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, so quick quick story, quick aside. Every time I go out to a bar or to a club or to a, 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 a place where drinks are served, my favorite thing is to tell the bartender to surprise me because they always mess me up. <laughs> uh, I, I was actually more excited, though, because now I get to freestyle the drink. I get to put whatever in it I want to. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Damn it. Now I ain't gonna be able to surprise him. Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. Oh, you fancy. Oh, he fancy. <clears throat> All right, something bitter to keep him awake with milk. And draw some latte art on top. The f the hell okay so we gotta put does it matter if the order we put stuff in because um if it's the base does that change things let me see let me get rid of these i don't like these uh symbols everywhere they're distracting so let me see there's nothing there's nothing here that has like repeat quote unquote you feel me? Like, nothing is... Okay, so we have coffee, milk, milk. There's no milk, coffee, milk, or milk, milk, coffee. Does that not be a cafe latte? Is, is that not a cafe latte if we do it out of order? Whatever. Something bitter with milk. So we got. let's make sure we got milk in there. Hang on. So, oh, I think that's what I was just asking. It's not gonna, yeah, it's not gonna let me choose. If he, so when I hit milk, all of these blacked out. I'm guessing that's because we don't have milk as the first ingredient. I think I just answered my own question. But it's gotta be bitter. So we can't start with milk. Cause milk ain't bitter. That coffee though? You know what, let's hit him with some green tea. Okay, so I, I guess it's not gonna let me make anything not on this list now. Unless it's exclusively that one ingredient. Okay. So, like, if I go green tea now. Oh, no, it didn't white out milk. Because I need to have milk. Okay. Let's hit him with a green tea latte. Hit him with a green tea latte. And he wants some, some latte art on top. Oh, he can Oh. I guess that's what it was forcing me to do. They all have latte art. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, 
Look at that latte art. And it's got latte art. Can we change it? Oh, we can change the latte art? Bruh. <laughs> oh, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> so what happens if I etch it? Oh, look at that. It's a whole spirit. <laughs> Let me do that better. Let's see. Oh, no, no, no. That just looks like it's milk on top. That looks like I don't even know what I'm doing. Because I don't. Nah, it's kind of ugly. Let's go back. Let's keep the regular. When I get better at that, oh, we're doing everything has latte art. Here's your order. This won't help me stay awake, but at least it's got milk. So did I mess up? Did I mess up there? Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's this rain. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh, yeah? I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh, my. Where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Juju. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographs for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve. Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always some la another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Not as good with your coffee making skills though. Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So, I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Barista, excuse me. What are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Alright, so we're going to focus on these two? Yeah. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I can get out the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood at all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a real pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. <laughs> and lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should ask Juju here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods. <laughs> I told y'all, in the back. <laughs> but it would be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Your parents? Yes. So, you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. Ooh, I'm trying to be nosy here. I'm trying to get all the tea. 
no pun intended, and they ain't giving me none of it. Hmm, they won't give us a chance at all. Anyone but an elf. I knew it. Oh, I knew it. Her parents was racist. <laughs> it's not funny. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? What is this? Ooh, what is this? This angle? What is this? This street? <laughs> you don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they said about you last night. <clears throat> I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. About how if I... About how even if I outlive you. What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf. That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. That's exactly what they said. So this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's all right. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? That's what I just served this man. <laughs> Excuse me, that's what I just served this elf. If he says no, I'll be mad. Green tea lattes, I'll take one. There we go. I served this man a So what was I supposed to serve him? If if not a green tea, excuse me, by the way. If not a green tea latte, what was I supposed to serve this man? Green tea. Yeah, okay, I got it. Green tea, mug, mug. I, 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 wanna, I wanna be able to serve things without having a reference. The, the book. What was that supposed to serve him when he said surprise me? Hit him with another. Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. <laughs> But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can if you try hard enough. At least, that's what my old man says. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. 
There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink, then. See you around. See you around, too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. You were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay. You have a good night then. You too. Okay. So our first night... Our first night on the job, not too bad. Not too bad at all.